Madam Forelady, you have a unanimous verdict. As to the defendant, D'Angelo Barksdale, how say you to the charge of murder in the first degree? Not guilty. Yeah! Whoa! That's what I'm talking about. That Barksdale kid, he's a cousin to Avon Barksdale. <coughs> Who? Avon Barksdale, Stringer Bell. Crew that's been running Franklin Terrace for a year. D, right? It wasn't you in the towers? Yeah. Why they put you down here? Yo, you messed with the count or something? I killed the nigga. If I make it to the other end, I win. If you catch the other dude's king and trap it, then you win. All right, but if I make it to the end, I'm top dog. Nah, yo, it ain't like that. Look, the pawns, man, in the game, they get capped quick. They be out the game early. Unless they some smart-ass pawns. That ain't right. Fuck right. It ain't about right. It's about money. You can't tell me this shit can't get done without people beating on each other, killing each other, doing each other like dogs. Shit, anything else in the world gets sold without people taking advantage, scamming, lying, doing each other dirty. Why gotta be that way with this? Because they dope fiends. You think 5-0 would care about niggas getting high in the projects? Man, 5-0 would be down here about the bodies, yo. That's what they be down here about, the bodies. You sorry for him? You fucking killed him, man. No. Yes, you did. I mean, we don't think that you, uh, you know, shot him or anything. But if you weren't so busy lighting folks up in the high-rise lobby, he ain't coming out of the elevator and seeing it happen. You don't see anything. He doesn't testify. He doesn't testify. Those kids have still got a daddy. Jesus. See, that's what I don't get about the drug. Why can't you sell the shit and walk the fuck away? Do they know? Do they know what? You know, what I'm about. I'll tell you something, man. You about to see your uncle. You understand me? This family. You know. Family is what counts. Family is what it's about. Family gonna always be there because it's blood. My people on the one of Omar's boys down to Greece. Over. I should tell him to take care of it. All right. Jesus, they must have killed this kid four or five times. Cut him in a dozen places, burn him with cigarettes. Goddamn torture fest, what it was. His insides was hanging out. It's fucked up, yo. I mean, damn. Sometimes you gotta send a message, yo. Stay with my uncle. It might not be right for me, I'm thinking. I just, I just don't want to play. I just don't want to play no more, all right? I was thinking about going to school over at Edmondson. You need to holler at your boy. You're the one that dimed on Omar's bitch. Can't recall his name. I'm sitting here telling you that the boy is out the game. And even if he wasn't out the game, he wouldn't be no problem. Well, you know we just want to talk to him, D. Barksdale, our toll booth cameras have you on the GW bridge at 2310 hours, then re entering the turnpike at the same exit 35 minutes later. Why did you drive all the way to New York for half an hour? I ain't saying another damn thing to nobody but my lawyer. Oh, by the way, your boy Wallace shot dead in the low rises. 
That's how y'all take care of your own, right? <laughs> you a lying motherfucker. You send my son to New York in a motherfucking rental? And then you just let him ride with that package in the trunk? I'm sorry it sorry went like you did. Sorry ain't gonna bring that boy out of prison. We all got a lot to protect here. You need to remind him of that. So when it come down to it, he can stand up tall. You ain't got to worry about my child. I'll raise that boy. And I raised him right. Where's Wallace at? Where's the boy, String? <laughs> D'Angelo, shut your mouth. Where's Wallace? That's all I want to know. Kid, you better think. Where the fuck is Wallace? Huh? String! String! Look at me! Look at me! Where the fuck is Wallace? Y'all don't understand, man. Y'all don't get it. You grow up in this shit. All my people, man. My father, my uncles, my cousins. It's just what we do. You just live with this shit until you can't breathe no more. They giving me a chance to walk away, to start again someplace else. And what you giving them? This right here is part of the game, D. And without the game, this whole family would be down in the fucking terrace living off scraps. Shit, we probably wouldn't even be a family. Start over, huh? How the fuck are you gonna start over without your peoples? Without your own child, even? You ain't got family in this world. What the hell you got? Man, my head is where I want it. You look dusty. <sighs> so what? So what? What, you my mom up in here now? Yo, man. That's the weak man's role you're taking. I don't want no part of what you do no more. You hear me? But why you be like that? Throwing them off when they looking to do for you. Darnette, they playing you with that we family and it's all about love. That's how they do. When they got no more use for you, that family shit disappears. It's just about business, Darnette. Dee, they're gonna be there for us. Then you say to me, boy, I might have brought you into this world, but you the one who gonna have to live in it. Well, Ma, I'm still here, me. You gotta let me live like I need to live. You tell Avon, Stringer, and Donette, all of them, to leave me be. The thing is, you only got to fuck up once. Be a little slow, be a little late, just once. I called because I heard you went and visited Darnett. Told him my son's death couldn't have been no suicide, is that right? I did do that. D'Angelo hung himself. Hmm? Not with the belt they found around his neck. Not at that distance between the doorknob and the floor. Avon and Dee was family. Family, right. Just, I don't know, on the inside. 
Someone is going after you. He's got a beef, sees red, they use a shank. It's quick and it's over. D'Angelo was strangled, which is planned. You need the time, you need the isolation. Look, two years ago, we hung more wire on your brother's crew than AT&T. And at the end, D'Angelo was this close to flipping, giving up everybody, everything. You know all that, right? You were the one who went down that detention center and talked your son out of a deal. I kind of liked your son, you know? All things considered, he was a pretty decent kid. And it grinds me that no one ever spoke up for him. Seems to me that nobody ever will. But mostly at this point, I'm sorry I bothered his girl. And I'm sorry she bothered you. Why go to her? Why not come to me first? Honestly? I was looking for somebody who cared about the kid. I mean, like I said, you were the one who made him take the years, right? <laughs> 